Hi, my name is Timothy, and I'm going to see what fruits or vegetables can generate an electric charge with any fruit that has acid. So, what fruits or vegetables generate an electric charge? Let's figure out. The purpose of my, 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 dumb, my, uh, my project is to demonstrate how an electric current can be generated using fruits or vegetables. My hypothesis states that lemons and limes are the greatest charge materials. Lemons, limes, potatoes, tomatoes, copper, zinc, LED light, light emitting diode, gator clips, and a micrometer. Lay out all the materials on the table what I just have here. Now, the first thing we're going to do is take one lemon and connect it to the micrometer to see if it's charged. If one lemon doesn't charge and it's connected, that LED light will not glow. So, let's turn this on. This is charged. That lemon is charged. It said something like 13. Now, let's see if this. Something like 13. Let's try this lemon. This isn't going up to 13. This is going near 9, and that's not good. So, to replace this lemon, we're going to use this lemon. Let's see what this lemon says. This is a big and squishy lemon. This is more than 13. So this should certainly be a lemon we need to use. Let's try the last lemon. And for the last lemon, if I connect the leads backwards, it won't go the right way. And if you connect them backwards, you'll get the wrong charge. So it's important to connect the, um, the black, um, the black, um, this black cord to the minus terminal, which is the zinc, and the red cord to the plus terminal, which is the copper. Now, let's check this. This is only like one or two. You can't use this limit either. So I guess we're going to have to try a line. have more acid than lemons. So I think this will work. This slime is going to eight. Let's try a different line. This time I'm going to find the squishiest line. Here's the squishiest right here thinking that this will work. This is not doing it either. So I guess we're only going to do three lemons. But I tried four. But at that time, how did it work? So I'm going to try this again, and since I already tried it, it's only, it's only going up to the night like 9, I'm, I'm still not going to give up, so let me try this.
make make sure that the lemons are all squeezed in order to have a good roll. These lemons are all firmly squeezed. Now connect zinc to copper, but on this side you need at the end of each lemon, at the end of the lemons on, on at the end of the lemon path, you have to leave this copper penny and this zinc nail enough for lighting the LED because if you if you don't if you're connecting only the lemons and not the LED, how will you glow this? So leave the copper penny and the zinc nail, but all the others connect to copper to zinc. the LED. And an LED needs to flow from minus to plus. If you connect it backwards, it will not glow. And you can try two LEDs on a lot of fruit to see if, if, those, if those fruit have enough acid to light two LEDs at once. <coughs> So, let's connect the LED, and you may need to make sure if you put your hand over it, so it needs to get dark, like in a car. It's dark, and there's a hundred LEDs, but not connected with a lemon battery. This is not glowing. I think the one that is not charged we shouldn't use. So let's try three lemons. No. Oop, did I see something? Yes, the LED is glowing. The LED is glowing. If you put your hand over it, you can see a very dim glow. Now you can you can do that with other fruits and vegetables and see data and see data chart for results. Now this is good data, but I don't know how I got three to work and four to work and four to work the, the time I practiced. Well. Hot, we need to we need to figure out why four lemons did glowed and three lemons glowed when I didn't try three. But I didn't think it could to connect, so I was maybe incorrect with four. Maybe it could be three lemons that I could be wrong. So. Do that with limes, tomatoes, and potatoes, or vinegar, or any fruit that has acid, or vegetable that has acid. And there you go. That's the science project. And now we're going to read the conclusion. The galvanized nail, which is zinc, and the copper penny act as poles for the battery, one negative and one positive. The zinc nail is an active metal which reacts to the acid in the fruit. The active charges in to the fruit are positively charged ions. A transfer of electrons takes place between the zinc nail, which has a negative charge, and the, and, and the acid in the fruit, which is positively charged. Electrons travel from the copper pole to the zinc pole through the wire conductor, generating enough electricity to light the bulb, which is placed between the positive and the negative poles to keep flow, the flow of electrons going in a circuit. So, you, there you have it. The flow of electrons with acid. Acetic acid.